welcome to lnp renewable system editor today we are going to disc discuss about the ship automation basics part 3 of 22 okay if you have missed out part 1 and 2 no issues please subscribe to the channel in our channel we had created a playlist ship automation basics part 1 to 22 english so by accessing that playlist you can able to watch all the missed out videos from part 1 to 22 okay so what we are going to discuss mostly we are going to discuss in the part 3 regarding the miniature release solid state release control release and the conductors okay mostly after the end of the session we will try to find the answer for all these 14 questions one is how to read a terminal marking in a relay and a conductors how a miniature relay looks like and what are the different types of miniature relays and what are the different types of relays uh, latching in the relays and how a read relay looks like and how it works and how a solid state relay looks like and how it works how a control relay looks like and what are the suppressor modules how it looks like and how a top mounted auxiliary module looks like and how to order a relay for a project okay how a contractors looks like okay how a mechanical interlock looks like why it is done okay how a latching module looks like and what are the contractors accessories okay so as we told earlier in our discussions in our diagrams okay we might be discussing we might be using so many abbreviations symbols and the short forms so if you had any sort of issues kindly please refer to the part we had provided in all the 22 videos so this part will be very much useful here we are providing the symbol and abbreviations short forms also so when we refer to this it will be easy for you to know regarding the instruments for measurement and indication circuit breakers interrupters releases connections generators transformers fuses and the circuit breakers production of the monitoring relays switches relays contactors units and drivers okay so terminal marking and the contact destination see here this is an example of a conductor and a relay terminal marking okay the first digit is the contacts position okay which indicates where the contact is physically situated it can be one two three up to eight okay and the second digit reference okay it defines the contact function what is the function digit okay say for example the function digits can be based on standard designation there is a possibility for a break contact so then the function digit will be one and two if it is doing the late break contact then the function digit will be five and six if it is making the contact then the function digit will be three and four okay and early make contact if it is making that is normally open early then the function digit will be 7 and 8 okay if it is making a change over contact the function digit will be 1 2 4 okay next if you're going for a miniature relays okay it is a electromagnetic switch it consists of a coil and armature and contacts okay so it performs three function one is normally open normally close and change over okay so this is an example we had given here is a base mounted miniature relay this is how it looks like okay so since this miniature contact has so many designations okay it performs these four function one is we have a relay miniature relay available in the market which is a single pole single throw type okay so it has two terminals that are connected or disconnected okay next is that we have a double pole single throw so the relay has four terminals that can connected or disconnected okay next is the single pole double throw so which has a total of five terminals two for the coil and uh, further terminals to two others as a CO contact that is change over contact next is the double pole double throw so it has eight terminals with two rows of CO contact that is change over contacts okay it is somewhat equivalent to two SPST that is single pole single throw relays when they accumulated or actuated together to form a double pole double throw next is that um, we are dividing this miniature relays into non latching type and latching type what is this non latching it is a stable one a relay that is activated only when the coil is energized and turns off when de-energized that is the non-latching okay non-latching relays are mostly used for controlling application when switch must be returned to a neutral position if the power is lost 
Next, latching type relays. These relays are used when power consumption and dissipations are limited. For example, after the initiation or actuation of a relay, no further power is required needed to maintain the state. In such occasions, we might be using this latching type. Okay. Inside the latching type, we have one coil latching, two coil latching. Okay. And nowadays, even in the PCB circuit bro, okay, the relays are getting printed. Miniature relays, we are using it. It looks like a ice cube miniature relay. So, this is an example we have given here. So, now we have so many evolved types which are available in the market. Okay. These relays, we are using. These are the miniature relays and terminal designations of those relays. Next, as we told earlier, these miniature relays are assembled in a control cabinet with their sockets, which can be generally separated into two basic types, either screw terminal socket. Okay, this is an example of a screw terminal socket. And next one is a screwless terminal socket for the fast wiring. Okay. As we told earlier, for in the latching of relays, okay, we have two basic types. One is magnetic latching and the other one is a mechanical latching. Okay, what will happen in the magnetic latching? So, in the magnetic latching, the relay uses only one pulse to move the contact in one direction. Okay. A second pulse from a different input is required to return the contact. What is happening in the mechanical latching? The relay uses a locking mechanism to maintain the contact in the set position. A second coil is normally required to change the contact. As the latch does not rely on magnet, it does not degrade with time or weaken during thermal cyclings and the third most important type is that a impulse sequencing okay in the impulse sequencing type okay uh, we are used to represent these relays as an impulse relays here they will move the contact with every pulse without redirecting the pulse or reversing the polarity okay uh, so we have given an example of uh, this relays impulse sequencing one is we have a single pole uh, that is double pole, double uh, double pole, double throw relay. And we have a single coil AC that is double pole, single throw relay. And we have a single coil AC, double pole, double throw relay. And dual coil, okay, single uh, pole, double throw relay. Okay, these are the different latching relays which can be mounted on a DIN rail base with the terminal wiring features. Okay, next, read relays. Read relays, so we call, uh, also call it as a electromechanical okay printed circuit board relays okay it consists of a read switch okay which will be sealed inside a glass capsule okay it will have a two separated overlapping ferromagnetic reeds okay so these read relays provide a magnetic operating gap okay and serves as a contact pair which provides no nc CO that is normally open, normally closed, and change over contact. So, next is the solid state relays. Okay, so these are an electromagnetic relay which are very much expensive, large, and take longer time to work than the modern semiconducting relays. The solid state relays uses thyristors, okay, which has a SCR that is silicon controlled rectifiers. Which also has a triode for alternating current that is triac. If we have output devices that is SCR, triac, or transistor, which is an optically coupled to an LED. So, since uh, these are little complicated, uh, we have given you a solid state release real time photos. Okay. We have uh, it has input as well as an output. Okay. So, as we told earlier. This solid state relay will only open the AC circuit at a point of zero current as their inherent hysteresis maintains current continuity after the LED is de-energized. Okay, which is also known as zero crossing switching. Next, control relays. So, mostly the contact of the electromagnetic relays that are placed through the control circuitry only are unlikely to sustain a current higher than 10 amps. Okay, they are called controlled relays, but these are also referred to as a relay which are used in controlling and regulating the circuit of the electrical motors, valves and the clutches. So we had given an example of a controlled relay and a, a real-time photo and a symbol of those relays. 
so as we told earlier this is also one more example of a contact reference okay we have see here in this we have 13 14 21 22 okay 33 34 43 44 so 13 and 14 is a no contact okay 33 34 is also an no contact 43 44 is also in no contact whereas 21 22 is a nc contact so most importantly this uh, this is how a relay coil looks like this is a view of a standard core we have a1 and a2 there are so many varieties which are available in the market okay so mostly this coil is uh, designed in such a way it gets energized with an alternating current okay next what are the voltage limiting elements say for example when you are using the um, electronic equipment such as uh, PLC that is programmable logic controllers we, uh, we might be using timing relays and coupling modules that can be affected by the other components and are commonly used in conventional switching for example if there, is, if there occurs any sort of disturbances which is being created by the inductive load when the relay coil are switched on and off then we can use these suppressor modules so these suppressor modules will be connected okay um, with our TLCs, uh, timers and uh, um, counters which we are using, okay. So what is the main function of it is that when these are connected across the coils, it dissipates energy from a collapsing magnet field when switched off, okay. So we, these are the suppression module symbols. Mostly the suppression module for relays which we are using for relays and the conductor coils, which will have a, that is RC link, okay and which will have a uh, mostly where we are using this suppressor module rc link type suppressor module it is mostly used for ac operator coils okay next we have a diode element which provides an excellent voltage limitation which is mostly used for dc operator coils okay next is the barrister element which is used both for both ac as well as dc operator contactors and it, it achieves virtually unchanged switching times okay next is the top mounted auxiliary contact okay this is how it looks like uh, this is a real time photo so when you had planned to order a relay okay what are the things that you must consider before ordering a relay for a project first and foremost thing is that you need to collect the following information what is the relay manufacturer who is the relay manufacturer and what is the type of relay that you are going to purchase and what is its coil voltage how many number of contact or block that you need to procure for that particular project next what is the contact references or a contact reference letters okay we had given an example here say for example if you are ordering a only one piece most importantly you need to have a description what is the relay okay whether uh, what is its uh, uh, type of a relay and see here we have a coil voltage that is 200 volt ac how many number of contact we have a three into three no contact and two nc contact okay uh, next what uh, is the contact reference or letters so those things we need to provide here this is an example of a relay order okay next if you're going for a conductor which is used to switch the larger amount of electric power through the circuit conduct of 10 amps or higher okay this is a real-time photo of a conductor okay this is a conductor symbols we often used to use so as we told earlier in the auxiliary conduct we have a fixed as well as a movable parts okay mostly these are used for controlling circuitry and the monitoring purposes okay when we go for a magnetic interlock or a mechanical interlock okay see here when we inter uh, made a lock by changing the position of this conduct what will happen uh, this assembled between uh, magnetic interlock is assembled between two conductors it prevents them simultaneously closing and it is often used as an additional safety feature to electrically interlock conductors say for example unevenly because of any sort of mishappening or because of any sort of false current or reverse current there is a possibility for two different conducts which should not work which will, if they work together it creates issue and in such occasions we can go for this magnetic interlocks okay and most importantly for a side mounted auxiliary contact we have an extra contact because this one terminal we we always we often used for operations especially the controlling operations we might be using these terminals but uh, we also need to monitor these um, equipment maybe it might be a volt free contact okay which mostly used for monitoring purposes okay next is a magnetic latching 
okay mostly the manufacturer supplies the magnetic latching modules that are fitted with either control release or a conductors so next we also have a pneumatic timer modules okay which can be separately purchased these are also referred as a shock observers because say for example there is a circuit okay which should not off immediately then in such occasions we can use this uh, pneumatic timer module we can set the timing after what sort of particular seconds it need to switch on or off those things we can uh, make using this pneumatic timer module nowadays instead of these timer modules we can implement the timing operation in the programmable logic controllers also okay so this is an overview of a conductor as a, uh, accessory overview okay we have a basic unit okay next we have a side mounted lateral which is an auxiliary contact module next we have a pneumatic time module then we have a two pole top mounted auxiliary contact then we have a four pole top mounted auxiliary contact then we have a mechanical latching module then we have a most importantly the surge protector thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more you can contact us we have provided the contact details here so we are providing plc programming training for siemens allen berlin delta plcs if you are really interested to work in the automation industry especially in the building management system building automation control system ship automation okay then you can contact us we are providing training on it okay and uh, if you have a plan to establish eb power where the eb power is not available you need a solar dc light system then you can contact us and you might have an agriculture farms you want to protect your crops from the animals then you can go instead of going for electrical fencing you can use solar fencing we are providing solar fencing as a kit we are also providing solar on grid off grid hybrid solar street light solar pump services design installation testing and commission consultancy and training supports and if you are really plan to uh, to know the basics of access control system electrical vehicle basics ship automation so we are also providing training on those things so you can contact us we have provided the contact details here thank you so much